Hey guys, it's Maddie Lee, and today I'm going to tell you a little bit about Joseph Goldberger and Edgar Seidenstricker. Joseph Goldberger was a Jewish-American immigrant born in 1874 in Gerald, Germany. He earned an MD in 1895 and joined the U.S. Marine Hospital Service. His work and research focused mostly on the battling of epidemic diseases. Oddly enough, Goldberger often contracted what he studied and was often ill. However, his biggest impact came with his so-called war on pellagra. In the early 1900s, Goldberger hypothesized and tested the idea that the disease pellagra did not follow germ theory and was not caused by germs, but rather was caused by malnutrition, which he later linked to poverty. However, at the time, critics refused to believe that there was a disease that did not follow germ theory. So Goldberger was committed to proving his dietary theory. He performed crazy experiments on himself and those close to him, including his partner in crime, Edgar Seidenstricker. Together, the two were able to prove the dietary theory for pellagra, a disease caused by a chronic lack of niacin in the diet. Edgar Seidenstricker was born in 1881 in Shanghai, China, to American missionary parents. He worked in the U.S. Public Health Service and for many years led studies and surveys in order to investigate the cost of health care and the effects of poverty and deprivation on health during the Great Depression. After a long life of devotion to public health, he died at age 54 of a cerebral hemorrhage. Both Goldberger and Seidenstricker were advocates for the health of the poor, and their commitment to public health allowed them to leave a lasting impact on American medicine. The question I leave you with is this. What do you think the lasting impacts would have been if dietary theory were to have become widely accepted before germ theory?